Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to. Um, I don't really know what this is. It's kind of just a discussion. Um, I, I wanted to talk a little bit about the the solo light tank strategy for Golden Speed Ten. Um, basically, what this is, it's is a I kind of like I'm not the first one to come up with this, but I did kind of come come up with it myself. Like just thinking about the the fastest possible. Um, Golden's B10 team because I I was doing a lot of tests before trying to speed up my B10 team um, trying to rely on on stuff like stuff like uh, you know armor break and then like nuking with courageous strike and doing you know crazy crazy shenanigans but uh, I think the most reliable way to do Dragon's B10 or not Dragon's um, Golden's B10 is actually the strategy right here this is like the the solo um, light tank strategy. Basically, what this does is it makes your your runs a lot faster um, and a lot more reliable because you only have to build one light tank unit, and then you can rely on um, rely on your sappers and stuff to to like do damage to the boss. All right, so this is just a normal run. I was I was actually doing some tests. Um, I was trying out trying out the water miho versus the fire succubus. Um, for for Golem's B10, so that was that was a light Miho run. Oh, we got a lucky egg, and oh, I'll actually do a do a test um, with the light Succubus. I don't do a lot of Golem's B10 farming, but I when I do, um, it's usually to see like if I can get the fastest team possible. I do a little bit of Golem's B10 farm, um, usually like after a Dragon ends, because I, I didn't feel like going immediately back into farming Dragon sigils. Mostly till from Dragon um, until the the reset time, um, you know, for the for the next week. Because if I do farm Dragon sigils and um, they drop, they they'll disappear before the next week. So usually, um, I spend my last few hours on Sundays, you know, farming some golems. And I I do actually want my golems team to be pretty um, effective. This way, I can farm as many as many uh, as much Astro gems as I can during times when I really really need them. Ooh, that was really bad blue soul generation. Ooh, that's three attacks on wave one. Alright, that was horrible. This is this this runs bad. I mean it could be fast, but I think I already wasted like three attacks. The the key to speedrunning is um the counting counting the number of turns or attacks that it takes your team to do something. So if if it if it's um, like basically I wasted three attacks on turn one. It was supposed to supposed to only take two, but because I wasted three attacks, it's gonna be much longer. And uh, they landed armor break on the on the side unit, but it's fine because I have my AOE up. Oh my god, he resisted all the sap. What is this bullshit? Or right, is this this shit's gonna get to like a minute forty? Good god. Mm. Ooh, yes, I killed him before he got his AOE off. All right, that was that was not too bad. Definitely not record time. Um, minute twenty. It's not. It's not too bad. But I I think what I wanted to talk about today is I wanted to talk about some uh some strategies like some team building strategies that you can use obviously my units have siphon gems so i'm actually going to show some runs um with you from some some units without siphon gems i think that actually that actually is pretty good as well so we're gonna we're gonna play again this time i'm gonna take out all my units with siphon gems i'm gonna take out this this light victoria because she has siphon and this is fire gen because he also has siphon and i'm gonna put in my other victoria the one without siphon and um don't really have a good leader skill then. Oh wait, no, I have. Hmm, what what fire nuker do I have? I only have her. She's my only fire nuker. Um, and who else? All right, we have her for the for the solo tank, and then we have. Actually, I don't think solo tank is uh, too reliable. If you if you're if your one of your other solo tankers don't really have any sort of sustain, I don't think it's it's all that reliable. 
um, but it actually could be depending on your your new career. I think if it, if it was a monster with morale boost, like a water Mona or a dark Mona on this slot, then it definitely is probably a lot more reliable than um, to to use a solo tank than if you don't. So we're, I'm I'm actually going to do some tests live on live on video. I don't have all the units, like I don't have like a water Mona raised or anything like that. Um, I would like to borrow a water Mona from some from someone if they do have one but we'll use maybe I can borrow someone's light Vic Ooh, this thing might die really easy uh, maybe this one the fuck what is this this is not okay okay we'll use this one fuck it good enough it has a leader skill too we'll, we'll use this one Okay, so I'm going to use two light tanks. I'm going to use a fire sapper. Um, I'll actually use a use water miho because she's more farmable. And then we'll use fire succubus, but she's actually not, this one's actually not too reliable because you do you preferably want someone with morale boost. So I guess I have to use dark mona. And yeah, we'll try this out. We'll try dark dark mona with these, and then see if um, see if I can get some get some good run times without siphon gems. Alright, so this is with two light tanks splitting up the damage. I think um, using two light aggressors is actually the best. I think a, a light Coco would actually work really, really well as well because you can you can skill up the Coco for, for additional damage. And um, basically the goal here is not to sustain at all. It's just to do as much damage as possible before your light units die. And then, um, you know, once you get to the second wave and third wave, you some of your units should have their AoEs up, so they should be able to kill some of the other units a lot faster. Like right now, there's only two units attacking. Um, even without the, them attacking my the other Light Vic, it, it's pretty good because my first Light Vic is actually able to survive. Um, oh, it's actually not attacking the tanky Light Vic. It's taking, it's, they're attacking the squishier Light Vic. Um, all right, my Dark Mona is not very reliable. She doesn't have a square slot. She's kind of sad. All right, moment of truth. So I want to generate as much blue souls as possible. That's why I think a morale booster is really, really good. Um, as your last unit, because if you have morale boost, it means that you're gonna you're gonna be able to um, get your AOEs up, and then once your morale booster do does their AOE, it generates more blue souls for your other allies, so they get their AOEs up a lot faster as well. This not this actually might not be too reliable. I think. I think the other like. Light Vic needs more needs more um, defense. It's just not tanky enough. It's like on one slot HP. It's pretty tanky. I'm not tank. I don't mean not tanky enough. I mean not a uh, not enough damage because it it is on one slot HP. But the problem is, um, if you put it on one slot HP, although it's going to be much much more tanky, it it's not going to be able to to do enough damage. All right, this was a failed run. This was horrible. This was a failed experiment. It's hard to put this together. It's it, it kind of it almost makes me think it might be like a siphon only strategy. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the best team in possible that I can use um, without siphon gems and see if I can get it get a good run time. Okay, so instead of light light um, instead of using that, I'm gonna use this, and I'm gonna use um, two sappers instead. This way. This way we can reliably land sap on the boss. And with the HP lead, my my Light Victoria should be able to survive. But this is all situational. Like, it's, um, you know, obviously you can make a fully farmable team. I mean, like, you see an Asian Elite show that. But I think I want to I wanna see if, um, you know, you can build a, if you have certain units. Because basically, like, Light Victoria is given to a lot of people for free. So if you want to, you do actually want to take advantage of that. You don't want to limit yourself by only using farmable units. Depending on what units, other units you have, you want to utilize those units and to make you, make the fastest, most efficient, most efficient farming team. So I, the goal here isn't to make a fully farmable B10 team. 
the goal here is to show a uh, like uh, you know the blueprints of making a team um, to to see if we can build something like that that generally works for most of mostly everyone and um, you know t t don't have to rely on like dragon gems don't really don't have to rely on hopefully don't have to rely on nat fives although I'm using a fire purse here because I don't, I don't really have any other sappers hmm I think the thing I can test out is like a solo. If I can, maybe a solo sap strategy, and do two light units nuker and then sap. That that actually might work as well. Or if you have another light unit that's a healer, that could also work. Or healer, healer nuker sap strategy, but then the healer needs to actually be able to do damages at the same time because um i think i think golems be 10 is like juggling is like trying to keep keep different things up you want to be able to do enough damage at one at one side and on the other side you want to be able to um you know your your units need to be tanky enough well not not all your units but like at least your light tank needs to be tanky enough um your 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 sappers need to at least be able to like take a few hits so they can they can dish out a little bit of damage at the end you know to kill the boss hmm even this wasn't too reliable i think sustain might be might be necessary cuz i was trying a no healer strat for for golem speed 10 um this is without this is without sustain and then with one light unit tanking all the damage. All right, those two old seven. It didn't see. It didn't look too reliable at the end. But it, it might be because the light Nike Nike took a little bit too much damage. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try something again. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do a different team this time. We're gonna try. Um, we're gonna try instead of instead of a sapper, we'll use a morale booster. Wait, that 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 fucking that won't work. Hmm. I mean if I do this it'll it'll definitely be like super reliable because she's a healer plus a light tank at the same time. So she's actually quite perfect because she can basically solo tank. And you can put like three units, three attacker units in like this. Um, but I think m most people didn't. If they didn't grab her before, they probably don't have her. So I think light light Nike actually might be the the only unit that most people have. Unfortunately, I don't have this one as a variant, so I can't really can't really test it out. Um, You know, I think Light Verde is a perfect replacement as well because because uh, she also has this skill and she's also tanky at the same time. She also has attack lead, so you can put her as a leader. I think if you grab her from the hero from the hero's rebirth, she also works really well for the strategy. Um, light Gemini from last month could also work, or if you have two Light Nikes that are like built really well, the other Light Nike failed, I think because it didn't really have enough um it felt like it didn't it didn't do enough damage i think that that's one of the problems we'll try light gemini we'll try we'll try a solo sustain plus um plus sapper plus attacker i think i think that might actually work so we'll use the hp lead this is the only lead i have i would have used attack lead if i if i could we'll try light verde next uh up next so we'll use this We'll put in Water Miho. We will put in the Slight Nike. All right, so this is going to be like a dual tank. Um, it might she won't be able to sustain herself if she's taking too much damage, but I think with these three, they should be able to do enough damage to the to the boss. And I think she's also really really tanky. This this Light Gemini should have very very good gems. This is um, yeah, this one's on triple HP if I remember correctly. I I did her I did a showcase on her before. So last time I did it with three Light units. This time I'm going to try to try it with two. And we'll see if if this works out. 
It's quite stable with three, but I, I'm not sure if we can do it with two. Because if you want to do it with three light units, you, they need to be like pretty specific. They need to be um, some sort of some sort of uh, you know damage dealing unit, which means aggressors basically. Ooh, shit! Okay, that didn't work. Not enough damage. She doesn't provide enough damage to kill the moonflowers. Basically, two of them got got their AoEs off. Um, one of them crit, and my succ succubus died straight out. Sad man. This is hard. It's hard making this. This thing, it, it, seem, it seems like it's almost, it's almost a siphon gem exclusive strategy. I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it work one way or another. Who's up next? Well, we'll use, we'll use a uh, light verde, but I think she's, she's built on somewhat, um, with, with some attack. So I think the, the only way to kind of make it work is to, to make it balance out is to use two, two light units, and then I also need to actually use a use a nuker as the last slot so I'm gonna use um, I guess I'll use dark Mona probably the only thing I can really use and yeah we'll try we'll try this out damn it, I'm running out of gems doing all these tests all these experiments This might work, but she's she's taking a lot of damage as well. I would have built her uh, triple HP. I would have built her triple HP and made her solo tank. That's probably the best. Oh god, this is bad. None of them have a full bar. Oh god, this is horrible. Ooh, she's dead. Okay. She might be a better solo tank if she can uh If I if if she was gem triple HP. Okay, if she takes a hit from Gollum, she is dead. She is so dead. I think this was this one was gem when she was still balance type, but now she she isn't. It's probably not as effective anymore. Maybe the nuker, the last nuker should be someone with armor break. Someone with morale boost and armor break. Wait, I'm describing a water Mona. Because the golem has pretty low resistance. If you can land armor break on the next two turns, your all your units would be doing more damage as well. Not just uh, not just that that one nuker unit. Every run is cutting it so so damn close. This is with two light tanks. Every every single run is cutting us so so damn close. The other, other strategy is pretty simple: is to like actually use a passive healer. So if you have like a water purse or or dark July, but I think light Gemini's. Like Gemini would take some damage as well, but actually no, that won't work because because the moonflowers, as you saw before, would just kill your your one nuker. Hmm. <sighs> C 
see if I can do it with a healer. I don't really have any any good healers though. What if I have a healer built with full full attack to help me kill the first wave? But that healer needs to have high base attack. There's not a lot of healers that do have that. Oh wait, I do have a healer like that. That's not gonna work. Not nobody has this thing. God damn it. I was thinking attack lead. Um, all right, this is this is like purely theoretical. I'm gonna I'm gonna try this out. Uh, basically, the strategy is to have a healer that's gen with mostly mostly damage, or even all damage, and basically just uh, just nuke, help nuke the first wave as well, and then she can provide sustain later on but you basically you need a healer that has like high higher base attack maybe I can general water siren on full attack no her base attacks too low damn it it's not gonna work it has to be a four star healer I think Wanahana's base attack is really low as well damn it it's not gonna work I remember light Venus having pretty high base attack, but then she's light it's not gonna work Okay, we'll try this out. We'll, we'll do this for fun. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We're, we're gonna try everything out in this video today. All right, she did half health to that B. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, she she killed that B by herself. Okay, that's this. This seems like it might work. Wait, doesn't Fire Kira have a bar boost plus a shield? And she requires crit? You can build her on like ruins, like crit rate, double attack. It might just work. Build a Fire Kira on crit rate, double attack. Alright, the AoE should kill everything. Then she heals. Kind of wastes it, but it's it's fine. At least the Nike is full and back in full health. It would be better actually instead of an actual healer, someone with a adrenaline on second skill. Like a wood bolt wing or something like that. Because then this way, they could be nuking and also healing at the same time. But the sustain isn't as good against boss the boss. Because the boss, uh, once the two side units heal, or side units die, you'll only be healing 10% of your max HP on your active. Because it's only hitting one unit instead of uh, four. Bye bye, cruel world. Dang it, her, her stupid animation time is so slow on her heel. I wish it she could get it off before uh before the actual like attack goes off. Alright, this run's definitely taking much, much longer, which that which actually doesn't work. Cause the the whole purpose of doing this is to make fast runs. Try to get something under two minutes. But it's really, really hard. It's hard to get a get a team under two minutes without siphon gems. Yes, this was definitely too slow. It was the most reliable out of all of them, but it's it's definitely the slowest. Um alright, we'll try again. I'm out of options. I'm seriously out of options. Um, hmm. Maybe keeping. I think light Nikes definitely definitely should stay in there. 
Then you need another light tank that has enough damage. And then you need a, a sapper that has high damage. What if you use a... A... Uh, someone... Someone with Courageous Strike for the boss. That actually might make the boss die a lot faster. I haven't tried something like that yet. We can we can try it out, but the, the problem is if I use Dark Thor, um, he's gonna armor break the waves and gonna make the runs uh, potentially make the runs a lot slower. But I think it's definitely worth a try as well. He's built semi nuke, so I, I I guess he could work. Alright, we'll try this out. We'll try um one light Nike. We'll go with I don't have a good leader skill. Something useful. Something actually useful. Um, maybe as a new girl, I'll use Dark Sea Star because she at least has the uh, has a crit rate lead that other units can use. Although he can't use it, she can use it. He's already max crit. Um, this might not work though. We'll, we'll try it out. I think a lot of people have Dark Sea Star from Rebirth before as well. Oh, this is really bad. They're all gonna focus that armor broken unit. Like just they're all gonna just nuke the living shit out of it. Cause AI is dumb. Yeah, this is horrible. Maybe not Dark Thor, but like Fire Verde or something like that. Or like a Water Sigfried. Or Water Indra built on like Full Nuke. That might work. It has to be a Morale Boost Nuke or it can't be anything else. I think it has to be one Sapper, two Morale Boost Nukers. It's like the only way. She's dead this turn. But I might still be able to kill the boss. If I get all my blue soul back after this. AoE nuke. Okay, that didn't work. We're fucked. The good thing with aggressors is uh, they can actually take quite a lot of hits, especially like if you're using Dark Sea Star. You're doing quite a lot of damage. Alright, please don't silence my Thor. And I'll nuke the living shit out of your face. Ooh, I didn't land the sap. He's got double retribution. If Fire Purse dies, I think I'm fucked. Oh shit. Oh my god. Dark Sea Star has two death breaks on him. Thor's dead. Okay, we're that didn't work. Fuck that armor break fucked me over. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh that that didn't work. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try something else. We're gonna try uh what do we try? I think I'm out of options. Oh wait, I I wanted to do a sapper double double morale booster. I wanna try something like this. See if it's reliable. But the problem is my, my monas don't have a score slot. This one's especially shitty. This one's kinda shitty. Has like only she only has like fifty percent crit and her morale boost even relies on her to crit as well. Maybe I can borrow someone else's dark mona. This one's on siphon. Maybe this one isn't on siphon. All right, attack, attack, crit rate, 
ruin level 5 leader skill. I think that's better than mine. Wait, that's not better than mine. That only adds 30%. Okay, we'll try this. We'll try this out. Okay, this is like two morale boosters, sapper, and tank. Oh god, four moonflower wave. Alright. It's alright. We'll we'll see if if they can stand stand through this test. Come on, baby, here we go. And all of you just decide to hit one the same unit. That's like almost dead. And they crit as well. I think I'm fucked. Oh god. Oh, she didn't die. The fuck. Okay, I got my AoEs up. I think I think we're gonna wipe something with this. We're gonna wipe this whole wave. This is risky. This is so risky. Ugh, she didn't even heal much. Okay, she's dead. Mm, damn, none of this works. You can't solo light tank without siphon. I just realized. I learned my lesson. It has to be a dual tank in order in order for it to be stable. Yeah, this is gonna fail eventually. It has to be a dual tank, I think. Unless your solo light tank is like extremely buff. I think that's the only way. Your solo light tank has to be like crazy crazy buff. It has to be like it has to be something like this. Damn look at this shit. <laughs> it has to be something like this. Um This can probably work. Damn, I think I think you it, it might only work with people with light Venus cuz only light Venus out of most of the normal units can solo tank. I think light succubus can do it as well on triple life. Well, light succubus definitely can do it as well. But I think Light Verde can also do it. Because now she's tank type. And she can... She's basically almost identical to Light Succubus, but she has like attack lead instead of HP lead. And attack lead can help your units clear the waves faster. Wait, is that like a 5... 50k heal. That was like a felt. Yeah, that was like a 50k heal. Damn, makes me want to build a Light Verde to test this out. I think Light Verde can do it. Can pretty much do the same thing as Light Succubus because she's she's light based. She has the siphon siphoning skill, which is pretty much the same as the morale boost. And then she has uh she has attack. She has a useful leader skill like attack lead, which actually might be better than HP lead because you don't you honestly don't need her to be this tanky. Like this is already this this has gone overboard. <laughs> I think attack lead might make the uh, the run faster. I think Light Verde can actually take her spot and make this pretty pretty good. Do like water miho to dark mona. Well, I'll take out fire purse later, and then we'll try. Uh, we'll try it with water miho. But I think it it should be the same. The results should kind of be the same. All right, this this has got to be the most reliable I got. It can't be light Victoria. I think that's that's my problem. It has to be something that can like that can really solo tank, not like some random ass aggressor. 
And then this way your nukers can actually be nukers. They don't have to be some sort of some sort of uh shit that won't survive. Hmm. Well, maybe someone has a light verde I can test out. That'd be awesome. So I want to raise one myself because it's probably going to take me like three more heroes to to get an evil three light verde. And if like Thor comes out between that, I'm probably going to throw everything back into Thor to try to get a variant Thor. Um, I think one last test we can do is like try with Water Miho. It won't be as good as Fire Purse, but I think, I think for the waves it'll be better because Miho with skill books will do more damage than Evil Two Fire Purse, but Evil Three Fire Purse will be much much stronger. Dang it! These these idiots like to hit the same target. Yeah, she just heals for like 50k. It's it's disgusting. She's got 3k defense as well, which is like at the optimal range with like a giant ass HP pool. Maybe I should try an arena defense team with her. You can't kill her first, and she's just going to keep boosting bars. Seems a lot slower. The staff's not landing. But I think, I, I think she's just targeting the side units, that's why. She should start landing a lot more saps now. I think without siphon gems, um, first skill saps is actually more reliable against against the golem. Because after you kill the the side units, um, your unit will just be spamming first skill against the boss. And then if you if you basically like just try to have no resistance on it, and he silences you, then that's even better because you're going to be spamming first skill nonstop. But I think first and second skill um, sappers are probably probably the best. Yeah, I think you can use Light Verde to replace the succubus. It it seems somewhat stable because she could probably like solo the boss and until until it dies if it has like thirty percent HP left. The, the problem without siphon gems is at, at the wave at the boss wave um, your units won't have their won't always like won't reliably always have their AoEs up even if they don't have their AoEs up on second turn they will and that AoE will just kill the two side things and then uh, it'll kill the one on the left it'll kill kill the one on the right but the one on the left will t may, might take one more turn to kill but it'll definitely die again next turn because you're you're hitting like three units with siphon so um yeah. Okay. Uh, that was that was pretty fun. All right. So what 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 do we learn today? Uh, Lightvig probably isn't the best. She can't solo tank very well. I think if you use like use her in a dual tank or or tree, I think even dual tank she she might not even work that well. I think I think it has to be triple tank. It has to be like three light units and then like one sapper. 
But then, like, one of those light units needs to be a sustainer, anyways. And if you have something like Light Succubus, you might as well just make her solo tank. It, it'll, it'll make her runs faster. But you could also go Light Succubus with two Light Aggressors, and then one, uh, one Sapper. I can definitely try that as well. Alright, that's 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 the last thing we'll test. We'll we'll test we'll test this one this one last one out. This one's gonna be this one's gonna be light um, light aggressor. And then I'll put in this light aggressor as well. But this light Nike sucks though. There's like nothing I can use. I think I can use a light attacker that's built hybrid. Maybe this light Leo. See if he built it hybrid or built it full tank. Okay, it's at plus twelve gems. It's not gonna work. Uh, this will definitely work. Ooh, shit! It's on siphon. Okay, I'm out of options. I think I think I have to use my my light Nike, but then she has she has siphon, so it might not be fair. All right, we'll try this one out. We'll try this one out. This actually might be an effective strategy as well. Like you you have some light unit that has sort some sort of heal. Either maybe light snowy, or not um, light, uh, you know, light succubus like I'm doing, um, or light uh, Gemini, light Verde. Okay, Siphon's too strong. Like they're just spamming AOEs now nonstop. Just even what with one unit on a set of siphon just makes the run so much so much more stable and so much faster just just one set of siphon I don't have another like full set of siphon that I can put I have I have a few other siphon gems I don't have another full set siphon is so hard to get Yeah, this is just going to be non-stop spam until the end of time. He does his AoE, but he still has two saps on him. And then after this 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 attack, he might have two more saps on him if it activates. If it doesn't, I think we'll be able to hit him until he's under like 20%, maybe. Alright, three saps. He's dead. Alright, this is not fair actually. I need to take her out. And take I need to take her out and put in someone new. Like this is this is not fair. Just <laughs> having one set of siphon just breaks the balance. Um Well, I guess we can try with that really shitty light valk. Or I can use a light attacker that's build hybrid. I don't really have any though. Dang it. Ugh, dual tank. This is not gonna work. I don't think she has gems. Yeah, she doesn't have gems. Okay, we're we're done. We're done. Like there's I w I wasn't able to test out but because I'm missing a unit, but we'll 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 test out some other time. Um but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I think we can do a lot of bingles now because I was just farming golems for a long time. Just refuses to give me anything from this row. Just absolutely refuses. Not a single one from that row. Okay, well, I got. I just need two more from that row. I just need one more from that row. It's not happening, is it? Fucking knew it. Fucking knew it, man. Fucking knew it. Okay, that was sad.
That was very, very sad. I'm going to rage pop that light, this light dark egg I got from Capture League yesterday. It's because I wasn't able to get that light dark egg. It's probably going to be something shitty anyways. We'll, we'll pop these eggs. We'll have a mini summoning session out of rage. So in conclusion, um, solo light tank probably probably won't work with a light light vic unless you have like all your other units on siphon to kill the waves fast enough um it can work if your light tank is super tanking and you have some sort of sustain but it can only work if your light tank is a sustainer or self-sustainer i think that actually is the best if your light tank is a self-sustainer because this way um your other three units don't you don't have to bring another healer in for your light tank because if you have to bring another healer in for your light tank, you might as well use light Nike. So it's not going to work unless your light tank is some someone that can self-sustain. I think, I think it has to be like light Venus, light Verde, light Succubus. Ooh, I got another variant Succubus. It's level three variant. It's pretty good. It's definitely pretty sweet. All right, let's see if I get a Cosmo or Colt. My light dark luck has disappeared ever since my that dark Indra. He's like completely sucked away all my light dark luck, like just absolutely sucked it, sucked it dry. Oh, at least it's a wolf. Wolves are better because wolves are rarer for fusion. Um. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's that's all there is to it now. We. I don't. I have no idea what the fuck the conclusion was. I just. I just show those runs just for just for fun to see if we can. We can come up with something. Some something I haven't thought of before to maybe make um, Golden Speed ten runs for some people even faster or even for me faster as well. But I think for me, if I want it wanted it faster, um, I will need to put like Fire Purse on Siphon and make her Evil three, and then take out Jin because he's he's actually taking, he's actually. Um, taking up a slot that he doesn't need to take up because I I don't actually need a dedicated wave clear. I just need like three sappers that are built like full damage and can help me wave clear basically if I have good enough gems. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully you guys, you know, this video helped you, you guys out somehow. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.